Hi folks, this video is to help those good folks out there who made a purchase. One of these folks. Yeah, that's what this is. This is a remote controller for your DSLR cameras for those of you who would like to take time-lapse photography. Now it comes in a nice little box, you see, but you have to be careful that when you order this product, and I purchased this over of Amazon, that you get one that's spe it's, uh, specific for your DSLR because of the endings are different ma matching the plug on the camera. Now when you in the box, you get an instruction booklet. That's it kids, an instruction booklet, which I found basically worthless. And you get the little bit handy dandy timer in a nice little case here, well not case, foam rubber compartment. This is it, it comes with two batteries which I've already put in there, and this is a nice little piece here. And let me tell you something, it works wonderful. Let me show you how to do the programming on this. Alright, here we go folks. Here's the instrument, here's the LCD screen. This is all zeros on top. This is if you're going to set your photographs to go off maybe every hour. If you want to set it to go off every couple of minutes. Or if you want it to go every seconds. This number down here is how many photographs you want to take during the process, the whole process here, alright? You change all this by using this pad here. It has up and down arrows to move your minutes up and down or your seconds. And left and right arrows to move it from one field to the next. So let's now hit set and see what happens. Golly! Do I want to change the hours? No. We want to leave it zero. So I hit the right arrow. Now the minutes stop blinking. I want to leave that at zero. Hit the right arrow again. Now we're up to the seconds. Do I want to bring it down to every nine seconds? Well, how about we take a photograph every five seconds? Now down here is the number of photographs. To get down there, you hit the right arrow. See, and it tells me the number of photographs. So I want to increase the number of, or decrease. You hit the down arrow. Increase, you hit the up arrow. Now that you got it all set, you hit set. All right, now we're all set. Once you plug it into the camera, make sure the camera is off. Plug it into the camera. Then you get it going by hitting this button here. This is the timer start, stop. We're going to start it, kids. See, it's timing down. And the red light went on. That meant it flashed, and it's timing again. Every five seconds, it will do that. And then you hit the button again to stop it. Incidentally, after you program it, hit the lock button. So that locks it in place so you don't make a mistake. This here is once you have it connected to the camera, uh, if you want to take a photograph independently of the timer, you hit this button that takes the photograph. If you want to lock the shutter open, you push it up to lock the shutter open for whatever various reasons. This is it, kids. See? That's how we do the programming, kids. Alright, folks. Behind me is the setup where I'm taking the time-lapse photographs. That's it, kids. That's the setup. And I'm taking the photographs of that overpass right by this very busy interstate. <laughs> See, here's the setup. This is the camera. It's hooked up. It's taking pictures over that uh, uh, overpass. And there's the uh, timing device there. Let's look in the viewfinder. See, it's clicking away, kids. <laughs> 